There is always a question, and the question is what happens when I combine chords together? The Ionian 1, 3, 5 to the 4 chord, which is a 4, 6, 8. Alright, if I take the F shape and I play 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 and go to the C shape then I have used all of the notes in both of those chords. So the formula for adding the one chord to the four chord is one, three, four, five, six, eight, and then I'm at my four chord there. Now, if I wanna add the one chord and the five chord together, the formula for that is one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Okay, because I've got a 1, 3, 5, and I've got a 5, 7, and I've got a 9, which is the 2 chord. So, if I did it on the F shape, I've got 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8. Alright, so G to D, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8. Now, the thing is, is the G to the C, the one to the four, is exactly the same interval as the D to the G, which is one to the five, five to one. And what I mean by exactly the same is it looks exactly the same. It's obviously different in the scale, but from the point of view of the interval in thin air, I could be playing a one and a four, but I could also be playing a 5 to 1 because that would be G to C, right? So in the key of G, um, if I've got G and I want to add the C to it because that's where I'm going. If I play the G and I play 1, 3, 5... It's all right, you can do whatever you like. I want to get it in one take. That's what I want to do. I want to get it in one take. You just get, you just get used to it. There is always a question and the question is what happens when I combine chords together? The Ionian 1, 3, 5 and the 4 chord of the Lydian 4, 6, 8. And if I take only those notes, I get a 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. So there's a little scale there of a 1st, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th and the 8th. And that is a combination of notes between the 1 chord and the 4 chord. The 1 chord... G and the 5 chord D, there is a combination of notes of the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 5th, 7th and ninth, And that's the addition of the Ionian and the Mixolydian chords together. So using the F shape, if I play 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1 or 8 and then go on to the C chord, then that's the addition of both of those together. And if from the F shape of G, if I go one, two, three, five, seven, one, and then on to the five chord, that is the addition of both of those chords together. Now, interestingly, G to C, one to four, is exactly the same interval as D to G, Five to one and what I mean by exactly the same is they look exactly the same there is no difference in those in the scale obviously there's a difference but I could be in G major going one four which would put my fifth at D but I could also be in C major going five one which would put my fourth at F okay and then A minor would be my Aeolian instead of the E minor which would be the Aeolian and G 
But if I use the Aeolian E here, and I'm in C, well, it's obviously a Phrygian. And then C becomes your root scale. But I'm saying that in G major, if I go to C, it's a one and a four. In D, in G major, if I go D, it is a one, it is a five and a one, all right? So the formula for adding this shape to that shape, okay, is one, three, four, five, six, one. So one to four, five to one, is the same collection of notes if you add those together. Which means, if you want to go from a four to a one, that is exactly the same interval as going from a one to a five. Because here's our one chord, and here's our five chord. So if I replicate this shape of my one chord, and I bring it up to C, now it's a four chord, and there's a one chord, so that is exactly the same interval too. Which means that if I'm at C, and I do a one, if I'm at C, and I do a one, a two, a three, a five, a seven, and an eight, then I've gone back to my Ionian of G. So, you've got two intervals, one to four, and it's exactly the same as five to one. And you've also got four to one, which is exactly the same as one to five. One, three, four, five, six, one is a combination of one to four, and it's also a combination of five to one. One, three, four, five, six, one. And one, two, three, five, seven, one is a combination of one and five. And it is also a combination of one, two, three, five, seven, one, four to one. So the thing that comes out of this is the direction really matters because one to four is a different scale set up when you combine the notes than four to one. And that's the reason why sometimes you start something off and your expectations aren't met by the next chord that you go to because you thought you were starting on a one going to a four but what had happened in reality was you started on a five and you went to a one and you never knew that that's what the case was and so this chord here which might have been a dorian would now be an aeolian And now the C is the one, and you can clearly hear that the G is the five, and the F is the four. And because I'm at F, if I want to go to one, I use that formula, which is a one, two, three, five, seven, one. Wrong notes, but hey, close enough. 